Today, we're going to be talking about math in schools. Studies show that only one out of every two students can divide using exponents. Today, we're testing this theory. Here's our first unexpected student. Excuse me, unexpected student. Can you divide with exponents? I don't know. Okay, sorry. We are on our way to go get our next unexpected student. Excuse me, unexpected student. Can you divide with exponents? I don't know, maybe. To test this theory, we brought two students back to the drawing board. Please tell us your name. Beyonce. My name is Tyresha. We have just proven the study correct. Only one out of two students knew the right answer. Focus. Focus. Unacceptable. So we brought in a specialist to show you how it's done. That's right. Okay. First of all, to divide powers with the same base, subtract their exponents. So two to the six over two to the second. How would we simplify this? First, you take their exponents, which is six and two, you subtract them and you get four. You subtract these two exponents. We take six minus two and that gives us four. So our final product would be... No, okay, just, it'd be like the final answer. Yeah. The, ans the final answer would be you keep the same base, it would be 2 to the 4th power. Applying the new rule that we just learned, let's try this practice problem. Beyonce, come on, try this. Yeah, there's a little twist to it, so let's see if she gets it right. Okay, I'll take it. Okay, so what I did was I subtracted these two and got that. Well, you did something wrong. Take a seat, let me show you. Okay, so one of the common mistakes everybody makes is they have their exponents negative. You can't do that. Always have your exponents positive. So, she's not quite finished with this problem. She did her math right but she still has to do something. She has to change the negative exponent to a positive exponent. What you would do, since you have this, you would automatically put it, this is on the top of your um, fraction. So what you would do is you wanna flip and make it positive. So you would flip one and put your X on the bottom and that would make your exponent positive. Here you go. Okay. For our next rule, to raise a quotient to a power, raise the numerator and the denominator to the power, and then simplify. Now applying to this new rule, what we have is this example problem. 3 over 5 parentheses to the third power. How can we simplify this? Easy. We just apply this exponent to both the numerator and the denominator. So what we get is 3 to the third power over 5 to the third power. Now we simplify that even more. 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. That's it. Okay, go. I got this one. Easy. Oh, she got this one wrong. This is another common mistake that a lot of people make. So instead of bringing out her exponent, she multiplied, she did three times three instead of three times three times three. Oh, this one looks oh. Okay. So she got nine and 15. That's not how you do it. I'll show you the right way. For the past 10 minutes, we have worked absolutely tirelessly to try and teach two students the proper way to divide with exponents. Did we do a good job? We find out now. All of our testing and research has been waiting for this moment.
breaking news. Studies now show that two out of two people can divide with exponents. See you next time on WSHA.